All right, guys, let's 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 look at this. Palpatine versus Krennic is gonna be an amazing. I think this was round. The round right before the finals. So this was the last round before the finals. Krennic versus Palpatine. Uh, so this was semifinals basically for the one K event. I really like the Krennic. I think uh, ECL Krennic is insane. I think Krennic deals with Sabine really well. I think Krennic is Sabine's counter. Also, Krennic is blue black, so Krennic can actually do really good late game with Avengers, Super Lasers. Um, you got all the Vanquishes, all the takedowns, all the power of the dark sides you need. There's so much removal coming from your end. You can also use Devastators if you want. Your late game is just crazy. And with the ECL, you have access to Vader's as well and all the good cards. So, honestly, it's either Aiden or Krennic, but I think Krennic is pretty strong. I think he's even better than Aiden, to be honest. Because Aiden can be killed with a takedown, whereas Krennic can never be killed with a takedown. Krennic, you have to actually attack into him, and every time you attack into him, he becomes stronger. So, it's, it's almost like a shield. Like, you can never take Krennic down. So Krennic actually is not only Krennic control is strong, I think Krennic actually is better in an early game than Sabine because he can heal so much. For example, the second Krennic gets to five uh, or six uh, resources, he can pull out his own Krennic. Well, he can pull out his Krennic a turn earlier. And then when he has anything blue on board, when he plays a Jugger, Juggernaut Cargo, I'll show you guys the card. When he plays a Juggernaut Cargo, then uh, he heals four damage absolutely broken against sabine it just shuts down the sabine completely when played and, and you can actually ambush the cargo juggernaut so you can actually attack anything with the ecl you can attack into anything kill it and then get the four hp heal and then from there on you're healing every time you attack with krennic it just it never works for them they'll never come back but i don't know if krennic is better than aiden though i think aiden does even more healing than krennic because aiden can heal all the time she doesn't have to be popped out she can just keep healing so Krennic let's say he, he he attacks twice in a game he heals four I think Aiden on average heals five or six easily per game I think Aiden's healing is more than Krennic it's just that Krennic does the healing faster all right let's see what happens here sorry guys we missed a couple of plays I'm just gonna jump really quickly back Started with the Admiral from the Palpatine. Krennic doesn't do anything, just takes initiative, and then we pass. And then we kind of play the same play here, ECL. Well, we never ECL'd anything. Krennic doesn't ECL, and neither does the other person, Palpatine. And then the Admiral just attacks into the Super Laser. That's actually very interesting. No, he attacks into his own base, so 2 HP onto the base. Krennic's hand is insanely strong. He has everything he needs to clear Palpatine. But Palpatine is just going to do better for, than him late game, unfortunately. Because he can steal all his units. Super Laser dies. Now Krennic can, comes out, can come out. He got the resupply in hand. I think we do use it here. Krennic comes out. No, I don't think we should come out. We should let Super Laser attack. Yeah, now he just attacks into the Super... Ugh. Whatever. Now we restore two. Not bad. Krennic's healing just happens so fast. And costs nothing. And you also clear units at the same time you heal. It's, it's just so much. Both of them place resupply at the same time. But it uh, looks like Krennic forgot to b put resupply in sideways. Like she comes in rested, she doesn't come in standing. Wow, so Krennic first play is going to be Vader. That's a, not a great play because now he just gets countered. He needs a cell block or he gets hurt by the Vader. He needs a cell block here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I see a cell block. Okay. Good. He needed cell block. There, that was the only play he could make. Uh, other than that, he loses that Vader. All right. So two damage onto base, two damage to the Vader. 
Uh oh, now Palpatine is gonna pull out next turn and take the Vader away. <laughs> no, you're gonna have to kill your own Vader. Or he just steals it. No, Kreenic, why did you do this? Why would you play Vader on a turn that he's gonna pull out his Palpatine? Knowing he can deal one damage to you no matter what. Okay, he attacks with the Vader. At least now when he steals it, it doesn't just attack into us. Palpatine, just steal it, 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 steal it. That's fine. Attack is fine. Attack is fine. But I think we should steal first. Makes sense. What if he has super laser? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What if he has super laser? Makes sense. We actually attack first, don't steal. Take two more damage. From the Ruthless. We can steal, oh, we can Emperor Palpatine. We can steal or we can Emperor Palpatine. Ruthless Raider is broken against control decks, late game control decks, because it does 12 damage by itself. <clears throat> Wow, Ruthless dead with a freaking power of the dark side. That's crazy. And this whole time we still didn't draw with Palpatine. Okay, finally. Alright, I think Kreenic lost game here. Unless he has super laser blast, he lost it. Yeah, he, he lost the game. No super laser. Ooh, ATT. Kills his own unit to leave two damage onto the base. Or three damage. No, two. It should be two. Oh, yeah, because uh, Vader was hurt. Okay, now are we going to... Oh, Admiral kills his own unit. Oh my god, what a good play there. Admiral sets this guy sideways. The Admiral goes sideways. Basically, you can now play a unit and it comes in ready, but the opponent gets to ready a unit. The unit he gets to play is Palpatine, so whatever he readies is dead anyways. Absolutely amazing. What a genius play there. Uh, Krennic is just not going to have a good deal against Palpatine. One thing Krennic has to do is just not play anything big. Until Palpatine pulls out. Another thing Krennic can do is maybe attack. Into the Palpatine. Faster, like be more aggressive maybe. Be more aggro deck than a control deck. Viper comes down here. Double overwhelming! Double overwhelming! Alright, alright, we're worried. That's Palpatine. Oh, Relentless in hand. That's really bad. It's a little bit too early. Relentless is a nine cost ship. I'll I'll show it to you guys. I think I see, I think I just saw that in hand. First event played by each opponent each round loses all abilities. Really strong. Against control. All right, Palpatine's playing really good here. Okay, Krennic is pulled out early. That's really impressive that we got to five already. Must have resupplied last turn. Or super lasered, I don't remember. Okay, so ground, Pete is dead here and you take 
to one more hit, yep. Wait, he should only have one damage, not two. Or not three, he should only have two damage, not three. Krennic attacks, healing himself. Puptin didn't do any damage, so there's no healing. ECL has already been used, that was a super laser, yep. Now Puptin is going to kill his own super laser so he can draw and gain that value from it. It's actually a really good play. I think Krennic is just not that great. I think Aiden's better. It's just when Krennic comes out 2-7, it just doesn't do anything. Whereas if you were like... Whereas Aiden's 4-4, four, four, at least that does more. I don't know. Also, she's shielded. But she can also just get taken down. I don't know. Of course, these late game characters are so much stronger as these late game leaders. But in general, like, you need to learn early game because Sabine is just too good. Krennic here can do Krennic things. Oh, no, unfortunately, he doesn't get to do anything. He just loses that guy. So now maybe you can just clear a board. I think Krennic just cannot play anything big for a while. Unfortunately, he just can't play anything big. Or you can play big things if you know you have super laser blast. Play something big, take initiative, let the Palpatine take it from you, and then super laser blast it out next turn. So two into base, finally the first hit. Krennic resupplies. Okay, so now we're in nine, but that doesn't really do anything for us. Doesn't change the game bigly. Yeah. Super laser kills itself with the power of Papti so we can draw and to kill our own super laser. So we have, as Krennic right now, we're at not 10. We are at 10 resources almost. Oh yeah, we are at 10. We're going to put one more resource and get to 10 here. But we didn't do any damage to the Papti this is not going to help us a lot. I think Papti is just much better than us. Wow, we play Relentless. First thing to do is Relentless. So now all he has to do is Imperial Intercept us. Leave some damage on us. And now he can pull out his Palpatine and you lose the Relentless. I don't know if Krennic knows what Palpatine does. Man, come on, man. Are you Kidding me? The he puts down relentless, then he put, then he throws the game. What kind of low IQ plays are these, man? I'm so sorry, guys, that you had to watch this. You could have just waited one turn and not played relentless. What the fudge? You could have just waited. Wow, I get it though, if you've never seen Palpatine before, now you know, I get it, a lot of people talk shit about Palpatine, now you know, now you know, I don't know why people talk shit about him, one of the best decks in the game, hands down, the best deck in the game, yo, you, you disappointed me, Krianic, I'm not gonna lie, you disappointed, that was, that was very fast, that was extreme, that was a match in 15 minutes, a full match.